It's another beautiful weekend to get out on one of Washington's thousands of lakes. One of the best ways to spend a summer day, but it can also be very dangerous. One man is still missing after a boating accident on the Coeur d'Alene River yesterday. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Emily Bloom. Deputies are working today to find the boater who witnesses say wasn't wearing a life jacket. For your safety tonight, Esther Bauer has the boating safety tips you need to know this summer. With it continuing to be an extremely hot summer, more people are getting out on the water at spots here like Silver Lake. But more boaters can mean more accidents if you aren't taking steps to stay safe. It's relaxing and rejuvenating and it's just nice to be out in nature. A nice day to soak up the sun while cooling off in the water for Devin Reed. He's kayaking today with his family and is one of many exploring Washington's waterways. This is the highest number I've ever seen uh, with personal watercrafts on the water. Jim Ebel monitors Spokane County's waterways and says it's more important to be aware on the water with more people getting out. The more vessel traffic we have on our waterways, the, the more there's an increase for people not paying attention and the more potential there is for people running into each other. That's the law. This kayaker didn't have a life jacket on himself or his kayak today, which is illegal in Washington. It's a law to carry a life jacket and whistle on any boat or personal watercraft. Life jackets work when you wear them. And in Spokane County on the Spokane River, your life jacket has to be on your body. With more people... I've only been out just recently, and yeah, there's like a lot of people out now. ...comes more responsibility to stay safe while having fun. It's hot out. We get it. We want you to use the water to cool down. We just want people to be safe about it. And one of Jim's biggest concerns are jet skiers. Kids as young as 14 can drive these, so he's encouraging boaters to keep a close eye for them when you're out on the water. Reporting from Silver Lake, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.